a pleasant place for learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. So this is now the third video lesson for weeks three to four. And this time, we will talk about the area under the normal curve and its probability notation. So at this end of this video lesson, you should be able to compute the probabilities in finding the areas of the region under the normal curve. So let's have sample finding probabilities. So let us write the proper probability notation for each area and determine its value using the Z symbol. So these are our seven items or the seven examples that we will be answering for this video lesson. First, less than Z is equal to negative one. Below Z is equal to two. More than Z is equal to negative one. Above Z is equal to two. Between Z is equal to one and Z equals two. Between Z is equal to one and Z equals two. And between Z is equal to one and Z equals negative two. So let's have less than Z is equal to negative one. So look at this one. Our probability notation is P. The probability of Z is less than negative one. So the required area is, um, so you draw the vertical line from negative one and then shade the area on the left. But how do we find this area? So what we do is to, first, we describe the area from half of the curve, so that is 0.5. And then we will subtract it from the area from zero to negative one to the left, this one, this red area. So we will be subtracting 0.5 with the area under the Z table, which is 0 0.341P. So this is the solution, probability, of z is less than negative one is equal to 0 0.5000 minus 0 0.3413. So the total area is 0 0.1587. So we use the subtraction operation for this value of z, which is located to the left now of a negative z value. Let's have below z is equal to two. So our probability notation is, because of the word below, we have the probability of Z is less than two, because below means less than. Then for the probability area, our required area looks like this. First, you draw positive two, the vertical line. And then since it is below, then you shade all the areas below. So, but how do we get the total area? So to get the total area, observe that half of the curve is already shaded. This area represent, is represented by the green area. And we still have a remaining area from zero to two. So using the Z table, the area from zero to two is 0 0.4772. So you have to look on the Z table. So obviously we add 0.5 with the area from zero to two, which is given um, by the Z table, which is 0 0.4772. So adding the area, the probability of Z is less than two is equal to 0.5 plus 0 0.4772. So the total area is 0 0.9772. So in this case, this is addition of areas. So notice that um, a less than symbol could be a subtraction or a addition or an addition operation depending on the um, required area that you see. So if there is a required area which is bigger than half, then that is addition. But if the required area is less than half, then that is subtraction. Now let's have the third example. What if we have the probability of Z more than negative one? So 
for the probability notation, we use the symbol greater than. So the probability of Z is greater than negative one. So what is the, how do we draw the required area? So we identify, locate the negative one value here. It is below zero. And then since it is greater than, we will shade the values to the right of negative one. So obviously there is a large area uh, which is shaded there. So we will get half of the curve from the right side. So the total area is 0.5. And obviously the correct um, operation to be used is addition because we have to add the area from zero to negative one. Using the Z table, the area from zero to negative one is again 0.341. So adding the total areas, we have the probability of Z is greater than negative one is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3413. So the total area now under the normal curve is 0 0.8413. Now let's talk about above Z is equal to negative, uh, is equal to two, I mean. So for the probability notation, we have the probability of Z, so we use the greater than symbol, which means above. For the required area, look at the required area. First, you draw a vertical line representing two, which is located above the mean. And then that vertical line, from that vertical line, we draw or shade the right side because of the symbol greater than. So how do we solve for that area? Obviously, since we have a very small area here, it's not addition. Instead, we will use subtraction. So first, we get 0.5, which is from the right half of the curve. And we subtract it from the area from 0 to 2. We got the blue area. So subtracting 0.5 from the area from 0 to 2, which is 0 0.4772, when you look on the Z table, so the probability of Z is greater than two is equal to 0.5 minus 0 0.4772. So the area is 0 0.0228. So notice that above the a mean or greater than um, the Z value, I mean, no, could also be a subtraction or a addition or an addition operation, depending on if a larger area is illustrated, so we use addition. If a smaller area is illustrated, which is less than half of the um, curve, so that is subtraction. Let's have number five. So this time, we have two vertical lines represented by Z is equal to one and Z is equal to two. So observe that both of them are positive values. So first, um, we represent it, the probability notation by a compound um, notation, which is the probability of Z is um, greater than one, but less than or Z is between one and two. And obviously when we draw the required area, we draw a vertical line from one and we draw a vertical line from two, then shade that part. Now, to get the total area or the shaded part, which is the yellow part first, we get the area from zero to two, the larger area, which is the blue one. And the area from zero to two is 0 0.4772. Next, we subtract it from the smaller area, which is the area from zero to one. And looking at the Z table, that is 0 0.341 T. Subtracting the areas, so the probability of Z is greater than one, but less than two, is equal to 0 0.4772 minus 0 0.341 P. So the total area is 0 0.135. Number six, the area between negative one and negative two. Notice that both of them are negative. So when we 
draw the or when we illustrate the probability notation that is the probability of z is greater than negative 2 this is our lower boundary but less than negative 1 because that is the upper boundary in the normal curve so for the required area notice that it is represented by the vertical line negative 1 and the vertical line negative 2 then we shade the area between the two vertical lines. And how do we get the total area? First, we get the larger area from 0 to negative 2. Look at that one, the blue area. And again, using the Z table, it will give us an area which is 0 0.4772. Next, we subtract it from the area from 0 to negative 1. And the same thing, the area that it gives is 0 0.3413. So notice that our solution is the probability of z is greater than negative 2, but less than negative 1. It's equal to 0 0.4772 minus 0 0.3413. The final answer is the same, 0 0.1359. Okay, but the only difference between item number 5 and item number 6 is that Item 5 is located on the right, and item 6 is located on the left, but both of them shares the same area. And notice that both of them have the same signs. Okay, a while ago, we compute for the area between 1 and 2. This time, we compute for the area between negative 2 and negative 1. So they will indeed get the same area because both of the z values are positive. But notice problem number seven. The first z value is positive and the second z value is negative. So we have two different z values. The first one is positive, the second one is negative. So it's not like item number five and six. So notice that when we write the probability notation, the lower boundary must be the negative one and the upper boundary must be one for our compound inequality. So we write it as the probability of z is greater than negative 2, but less than 1. For the required area, this is how we illustrate it. First, you draw the normal curve and represent 1 as a vertical line. Then we have negative 2 as our second boundary for the area. And then we shade the area between the two vertical lines. So how do we compute the areas? Notice that we will not use subtra subtraction operation. Instead, we will use addition because we need to find first the area from 0 to negative 2. So that is 0 0.4772. And we also get the area from 0 to 1. That is 0 0.3413. So obviously, the operation is addition. Because when we combine them, it will give the total area. So the probability of z is greater than negative 2, but less than 1, is equal to 0 0.4772 plus 0 0.3413. So the final answer is 0 0.8185. Always remember that these areas under the normal curve, such as 0 0.8185, is also a probability that it assumes. So when we want to convert this area under the normal curve into a probability, then that is 81.85% of the distribution. So every area under the nor normal curve has a corresponding probability into its normal random variable. So those are some of the examples in getting the areas under the normal curve and their corresponding probability notation. So for week, we are still on week number three and you should watch also the part four of our video lesson, which will talk about the applications of the normal distribution. So again, this is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher.